climate change is here to stay. Unless we do something about it. The eyes of future generations are upon you. We need to act now. We demand change! It's nothing to do with CO2. Those who say that have no evidence for it. But for us in the Pacific, climate change is very real. And climate change science not only proves it, but it also allows us to better prepare and innovate for future impacts. There are a lot of things that are changing in the climate that affect the Pacific. For example, as ocean temperatures are increasing, this is driving sea level rise. It's changing rainfall patterns, so rainfall intensity can increase when we get rainfall events, but it can also affect droughts as well. The services provided by the National Meteorological Service is also based on solid science in the areas of both weather, climate and water. Development in the Pacific must be based on sound climate change science and climate change evidence. For an Ikiribas, and being an Ikiribas, I think overcoming these challenges and, and not going up without a fight, with the science backing that up, I think we have not just stories, but credible kind of positions to put on the table and for the international community to hear. With the inevitable effect of climate change in the Pacific, a new project called Next Generation Climate Projections was birthed with the goal for the Pacific Island countries to understand the benefits of climate change science. And using that science to enable policymakers to make important decisions, and that is a critical role of science, which is developing the data and the information, but actually being able to translate that information and the policy will enable our leaders to make well-informed decisions. The reason why we're here with the Pacific Meteorological Council, as you know, the Council has established a panel on climate services against the backdrop of the global and regional outlook on science to improve climate service delivery at the national level. The Pacific Meteorological Council is a specialized subsidiary body of SPREP that provides policy-relevant advice on meteorology, hydrology, oceans and related fields in the Pacific. Regional efforts of PMC is coordinated through the Pacific Meteorological Desk and Partnership which comprises of two core components, Apia Bay Secretary, SPREP and WMO and technical partners. Climate change means that the climate we have been used to in the past is not the climate that we will have in the future. So we will have to make changes or adapt. As a negotiator for Kiribati, the science just re-emphasizes the points that we make at the international level. With the proposals that we develop to access financing for a lot of the adaptation or resilience building that we have in country there. So the science is that information that we need. And then we have to kind of decipher that science as well. So it's comprehensive as well to different levels. The outer islands and the communities about the fishermen and the, the farmers, they have to understand what the science means to them as well. We have an expert group of almost 3,000 globally who work with us through our technical commissions with a focus on infrastructure and science and services, making sure that global decision-making is evidence-based, particularly in relation to climate change and climate change adaptation and mitigation. Scientists and National MIT services are supporting different sectors in providing guidelines, helping equip Pacific Island nations in the changing of the climate. What is the impact of temperature increase? Also looking at impact of rainfall change. The results of the impact assessment can then be utilized together, either by the sector or by the national med service that goes into the national government. We have case studies in the Solomon Islands, also in Samoa, the impact of climate change in cocoa farming, and the other one is the sweet potato in Papua New Guinea. And those case studies that can be done in many other countries as well for other crops like coffee or taro. Science-based climate change information is not only used for agriculture, it can be used to make climate-smart decisions and adaptation plans across a range of sectors, including fisheries, building, water resource management, 
energy, and health. The Pacific Islands are on the front line of climate change. Island nations have united to share information for sea level rise, increase in temperature, and intensity of impacts, including tropical cyclones, droughts, and floods. And so what we're investing in at the moment is bringing the science that's now being uh, output from the region uh, into the development process so that decision makers from all levels, from all sectors, can actually use that science to make sure that their development is risk informed. So there's a whole raft of different issues that are coming out of the climate science that are really important to ensure sustainability of livelihoods in the Pacific. Changes in tropical cyclone behaviour, changes in the rainfall that occur during tropical cyclones, more intense winds may drive stronger storm surges, larger waves which impact coastlines, water availability if we get more droughts, managing water resources will be very critical for a lot of islands in the region. Yes, we're presented with facts and science that sea level will continue to rise. I think it means more resources, it means more capacity, more innovative technologies to kind of bring us to speed in, in addressing these issues. So for example, a uh, king tide, you know, a tropical cyclone nearby Kiribati as well and the projected energy going to Kiribati would add additional impacts and that we have to factor in in, in the planning process to address these problems. <laughs>